All right, without wasting any time, we'd like to call upon our next speaker, Stephanie Williams. She loves her family, the chiropractic community, and the amazing opportunities that have come, up, come into her life because of chiropractic. When we asked her why did she do Talk to Tick, she wanted to learn how to express herself clearly and effectively, and because she likes to hear herself talk. <laughs> Her target audience is a corporate luncheon for health. Everyone welcome Stephanie Williams. Thank you. Thank you all for being here today. It's such an honor to be here. My name is Stephanie Williams and I'm a chiropractor. And I really want to thank each of you for spending your lunch hour with me. I know you have a busy week here at work, so I appreciate you being here. We'll make it worth it for you. So today we're going to talk about living well to 100 and expressing your health potential. So go ahead and shout out how long do each of you want to live? Shout out some numbers. 2,000 years. years. What did you say? 77. 120. I love it. I love it. So very often I tell people that I want to live to 120. And people look at me like I'm crazy. They say, why would you want to live that long? You're going to be on a ton of medication. You're going to be using a walker, living in an assisted living community, eating pudding all day. That sounds horrible, <laughs> right? And I tell people all the time, it's not, it doesn't have to be that way. It's about lifestyle choices today that can get us there tomorrow. Statistics show that life expectancy is actually going up. It's pretty cool, right? But it's about lifestyle, and that's what we're going to talk about today. So in order to know where we're going, we've got to talk about where we came from. Has anyone ever told you that you are intelligent? Good, good. <laughs> I love it. I mean, when we're little, our, our parents tell us all the time, you're really smart. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. And that's true. But has anyone ever told you that your body is extremely intelligent? How many of you have kids? Or were once a kid? Or still are? Well, this is you at eight cells old. Eight cells. How cool is that? Does anyone remember that? No? Well, look at us today. We're 70 trillion cells. That takes an extreme amount of intelligence. And our bodies are designed to do that. It's pretty cool. So there are so many processes in the body that happen without us ever having to think about them. So when mom and dad got together, they didn't have to write out a plan and say, OK, let's use this sequence of DNA. We're going to use your blood type. And we're going to put the stomach here, belly button here, mouth here. Shoot, we got them switched. It doesn't happen that way. The body does it on its own, because it's intelligent. I mean, think about it. Do you ever have to think about making more blood for your body? Do you have to think about digesting your food or breathing in your sleep? No, because the body does it on its own. It's intelligent. So we're made to live well beyond 100. And it's about lifestyle. Does anyone know Dr. Oz? You guys know him? I taught him everything he knows. He'll thank me later. Well, Dr. Oz has gone all over the world and studied centenarians. These are people that live to well over 100. And research has shown that it's not about genetics. It's about lifestyle. And I'm here to tell you that each and every one of you have that intelligence and that power within you to make those healthy decisions today to live as long as you possibly can. Because it's not just about living to 100. It's about living well even at 100. So look at this guy. I mean, how cool does he look? He's got those deep wrinkles in his face. Doesn't he just look like he's lived such a cool life? I want to look like him. <laughs> Hope you do too. <laughs> so as a chiropractor, I work with the brain-body connection. In other words, the nervous system. So you can see here, do I have a pointer on this? Is it this one? Oh, cool. So you can see here we've got the brain. It's connected to the spinal cord, which carries messages to every single organ, muscle, tissue, cell in the body. Sometimes we have stressors that overcome the ability of the body to adapt. 
And that's what's called a subluxation. So this can be caused by three things. Thoughts, toxins, and traumas. In other words, emotional stress, chemical stress, physical stress. Has anyone experienced that before? Raise your hand. Anyone? I know I have. Doing it right now. <laughs> so it's when the stress overwhelms the body that the body goes into a state of subluxation. The body's no longer able to adapt. So the job of a chiropractor is to locate that interference and remove it. We do it through the spine. Check out this guy. <laughs> Has anyone ever had a bad cell phone connection? So you're talking on the phone, maybe you're talking to someone that you really like, trying to set up a date, and the phone keeps cutting out, and you, you know, think you got the message. Next thing you know, you show up at the mall, and they show up at the movies. Have you guys ever been stood up before? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> okay, because I'm the only one. <laughs> so subluxation is like interference in the body. That's what we're looking for. The nervous system works with a property called plasticity. Your nervous system changes with experience. So the more you use a neural pathway, the stronger and more effective it becomes, whether it's good or bad. So the job is to remove the interference to the nervous system to create more good pathways so your body can function as best as it possibly can. We're removing the interference to that nervous system, allowing your body to express the intelligence so that you can live as long and as healthy as you want. And that's what chiropractic is. That's the philosophy behind chiropractic. It's not just about living to 100. It's about living well even at 100. So create new patterns. A chiropractic adjustment is like a new pattern, a new experience for the nervous system. We do this through a chiropractic adjustment through the spine. An adjustment is a very specific force to a very specific place in the spine, allowing pressure to be removed from the nervous system, allowing your body to express its intelligence so that you can live as long and as healthy as you choose. It's about lifestyle choices today that will get us there tomorrow. In closing, I'd like to leave you all with a quote from Gandhi. And I'm sure you've all heard this before. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. I'd like to change that a little bit. To be the change that you wish to be in yourself. It starts today. It starts by creating healthy lifestyle, a new pattern for your nervous system, and living free from interference. I hope to be of service to all of you at some point in your lives. I'm here for your families, and I promise to you to deliver the best, most effective chiropractic care for you and your family to live the life that you all deserve and to express the intelligence that each and every one of you were born with. Thank you for your time. Look forward to creating relationships with all of you. Thank you.